Um, I'm very honored, very happy to uh, to be the receiver of the MLK Picture Award. You know, this is something that's you know very important to actually be chosen to receive this award, and I'm very happy. I'm very happy. I'm very grateful, and you know, I'm glad that I I was chosen to get this award. And um, just like to thank everyone who supports me, um, people who are always there for me, friends, family. Um, I'd like to especially say thank you to my father, you know, who's always been there for me, who always gives me that push I need to do the best that I can do and be the best that I can be. And I made him proud and I made him happy and happy that I made him happy and, you know, proud myself to have received this award. So thank you. Good morning. Thank you. I am so very honored to receive the Dr. Martin Luther King Picture Award. Special thanks to State Representative Wendell Gilliard. I am very appreciative and honored that I was chosen as one of the recipients of this award. I am a firm believer in working in the community and helping to educate today's young people. One of my favorite quotes is by Marion Elderman and it says, children must have at least one person who believes in them. It could be a counselor, a teacher, a preacher, a friend, it could be you. You never know when a little love, a little support will plant a small seed of hope. Again, thank you. And to all the recipients that stand with me today, I am also appreciative of everything that you do in the community. Let's continue the work of Dr. Martin Luther King together. Together we can. Thank you again. First, I want to thank God for the opportunity to serve the community in many, many ways. I want to appreciate the opportunity that the committee is giving me with this award. I honor this community and I hope that I keep spreading Martin Luther King's dreams, words, and voice in this community. Thank you. Gracias. First, I'd like to thank everyone. Thank Wendell Goodyear, thank the whole committee, everyone that put on the hard work to put this event together. I uh, truly am grateful for the uh, nomination and love and respect of all. And I thank y'all for recognizing our family, family nonprofit organization. We've been out since 2012. We work hard in the community, not just to feed the homeless, but to better, uh, better serve our community. We also assist in five victims as well. We truly are grateful for all the love and the respect that we have gained throughout Charleston. We're not here just to feed the people and get them a pat on the back. We are here to give them a word and uplift them in their daily life to promote them from being homeless to, to being from homeless to having a home. That's our goal of 2016 that we are currently uh, working on. And we cannot do this without the volunteers, the love from everybody throughout the tri County. I would like to take this opportunity to show my appreciation for receiving this award. I've been a victim advocate for 15 years, working exclusively with victims of domestic violence. Project Unity gave me a great opportunity here in the Charleston area. We have four other um, agencies throughout the state of South Carolina. And we reach out to those people that are victims of violence, uh, whether it be domestic violence or gun violence. We have this dream. Uh, that one day our young people will be able to play in parts, not have to worry about being shot, and that our young people will learn to put weapons down and talk to each other, love each other. And once again, I am so honored, so very honored to have received this award. First of all, I'd like to give thanks to God Almighty for coming to all my strength. Then I would like to thank the Honorable Mayor Joe Riley, Representative Wendell Gilliard, all of my constituents, and all of those that thought I was worthy of such a cause. I would also like to thank my husband and children who put up with all of the late night phone calls and late dinners. I just want you to know it doesn't go unnoticed. I also would like to dedicate this award to my mom who molded me and who into what I am today. I sat by her bed for 18 years while she was in a coma, and during that time I learned a lot. It made me who I am today. And for you, Mom, I dedicate this to you. I love you.
Thank you, Representative Gilliard, for allowing me to accept this honor. This is a huge honor, and it's an honor that has been accepted by many notable people here in Charleston. Thank you for this, and thank you for your time. I'd like to take this time to humbly and gratefully uh, say thank you to Representative Wendell Gilliard and the committee for uh, nominating me and allowing me this unique and humbling opportunity to uh, receive the MLK Award. For me personally, um, I had such great leaders uh, here in the city of Charleston, beginning with our Mayor Riley, uh, who will be stepping down from office very soon, uh, and other examples within our community, such as Wendell, who just is the very tip of the spear uh, for community relations and is just serves as such a great example mentor and especially great friend to to me so again thank you for this opportunity and i look forward to the opportunities and challenges that lie ahead thank you first of all i want to be i want to thank all those that selected me for this award and i appreciate uh, you awarding me um, i want to thank uh, my lord and savior for allowing me to be on this planet and allowing me to help others. I want to thank my parents for instilling in me the, the work ethic and the will to want to do for others more than I do for myself. I want to thank my friends and family for being there for me and being supportive, allowing me to sacrifice some of my time with them to be able to help others. I want to thank all those I've been able to help and have allowed me to help them. Um, I ask that they just take everything that I and others have poured into them and do that and pour into others. Um, most importantly, we want to try to make this world a better place. And you can only do that by reaching out and doing more for others than you would do for yourself. Good morning. And I would like to say that I am very appreciative and humble for receiving this award, the um, Dr. Martin Luther King Picture Award. And I would like to thank um, Representative Wendell Gilliard, um, Ms. Tina Parks, and um, everybody who's been there to help support me through my, through my journey. And um, I hope you continue to dream and let this one out. Good morning. I would like to take this opportunity to thank Representative Wendell Gilliard and the entire MLK Picture Award Committee for this very special honor. I would also like to thank the best CCSD counselor in my family. That title goes to my wife, Barbara. Thank you. I owe a lot to my parents, especially my dad, Charlie Epstein. It was his legacy of keeping kids on the court and out of court that I worked for the last 27 years to keep alive. Thank you to Martha and Richard Ulmer for adopting me when I moved to Charleston from Boston 27 years ago. I never want to forget three very special people who are no longer with us. My friends and mentors who supported me during my career. Candy Bates, Director of Counseling Services, Charleston County School District, former principal, James Island High School, Mr. Floyd Hyde, and Dr. Ken Shelton, my advisor at the Citadel Graduate School. Thank you to the Runyons, Mary and Lee, for allowing me to work out of the box. To the students of the Burke High School Bulldogs, use this Martin Luther King holiday to recommit yourself to your education. You owe it to yourselves to your family, but more importantly to your ancestors, to take advantage of all of your opportunities. I promise to work nonstop with our dear friend, Representative Wendell Gilliard, to try to change the dropout age in South Carolina from 17 to 18. Once again, thank you very much.